All right, students, welcome back after the break. Let's go ahead. Everyone over here. Everyone over here now. Listen. People, before the break, we were done with section number 71A, AA, B, and section number 71C. We were talking about section number 71C, ka first paragraph. Correct, everyone? Listen carefully. I don't like students talking. I'll give you time to talk, but now listen, everyone. Everyone on the board. <coughs> Tell me one thing. I am a person doing business. Everyone over here. I went ahead and bought, supposedly, I am doing business of shirts. People, listen carefully. You have to think, okay? I am into the business of doing. Sure. I bought a shirt and I sold the shirt. Which section, everyone? 71. 7-1? Sure. I went ahead. I am into the business of dealing in shirts. But for my business, I went ahead and bought a television. I bought a? For my business, I bought a television. And I used it for some time. And then, then I sold a television. How much? Se section number? 7-1? Okay. I bought a machine for my business. Machine, I used it for some time. And then I went ahead and sold the machine. Section number? 7-1? Does it matter whether you take ITC or not if it is a case of 71A? No. If it is 71A, doesn't matter whether you have taken the ITC or not taken the ITC. Can we go ahead everyone? Next. Everyone over here now. Now, the next one over here. See our people who are talking. It doesn't matter to me whether you are talking or not. But you are disturbing the whole class. When you are doing not talking, talking, talking. It disturbs the whole class. You are to sit in the class. If you don't want to sit in the class, get out. Before I throw you out. Do you want me to be a rude person? Can I go ahead everyone? Yes. Chalo. Everyone over here. See, we are all here to enjoy, right? Let's enjoy, learn. I will give you time to talk. Can we go ahead everyone? Next. Now, <clears throat> the next one over here is, supposingly, I went ahead and bought some, I went ahead and bought some shirt. I went ahead and sold it. Section number everyone. 71. Sure. Okay. I bought one projector in the business. One. I sold the projector. Section number 71. I bought a projector in my business. I took the input tax credit. I. Now I went ahead and sold it. Section number 7A. I sold it, sold it for a consideration. 7 1. Correct, everyone. There is nothing. Now I am telling, I went in and bought a projector. I did not take the ITC. I did not take the. I gave it free for charity. Free for charity. 7 1. 7 1. It's a permanent transfer of a business. Did you take the ITC? Yes or no? So why 7 1 C? Will it come under supply? Are we clear everyone? It will not be a supply. Why? Because you did not take the ITC. Are we clear everyone? Chola, I will ask you one more question. If in the same situation, I bought a projector, I took the input tax credit and now I gave it for charity. 7-1. Why 7-1-C? Permanent transfer of a business asset. Did you take the ITC on the asset? Yes, yes sir. You went ahead and took the ITC. Permanent transfer of a business asset. You took the ITC and hence it's a supply is my point till here everyone clear 100 percent chalo i will ask you one question people over here i went ahead and bought cloth baba cloth you know cloth shirt ke liye cloth which is there i bought cloth i went ahead sold the cloth section number everyone 71a everyone anyone any doubt i bought cloth I took the ITC on the cloth. I went ahead and gave cloth for free. Free was given what everyone? Cloth. 7-1? 7 one C. Will it be a supply everyone? It's a permanent transfer of a business asset. Did you take the ITC on the asset? It's a supply. Do you guys agree with me? Everyone, 100% agreement. Can I go ahead? Everyone? Now I'll ask you. I bought cloth. I bought? Out of the cloth, I went ahead and made... Processing was done and I made shirt. What did I make everyone? Can I make shirt? I'm a factory. I bought clothes. Clothes I made shirt. 
this shirt i sold it can you tell me section number 71 okay when you sell something doesn't matter whether you have taken the itc not taken the itc if it is a sale it will come under supply okay i bought cloth i took the input tax people over here i converted the cloth into shirt and you know what everyone shirt i give it for free 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 one minute it is according to you permanent transfer of a business i said did i take the itc will it be a supply now i want to tell you one small thing which you missed it everyone here permanent transfer or disposal of a business which business asset you transferred where the itc was availed on such asset what do you mean by such asset what you bought people what you bought and took the itc on the same item was given for free then it will be a <coughs> 7 one cma supply i bought cloth cloth say i made what shirt shirt if i give free did i take the itc on shirt no. so will it be a supply no. yes or no? no no remember see 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 the permanent transfer or disposal should be done of a business asset where the itc was availed on yes, on which asset you took the itc that it that asset should be given free then it will be a supply are we clear here you took the itc on cloth given free what cloth that is why it was supply here you took the itc on cloth given free is what sure. this will itc on such asset which asset you are giving free did you take the itc on that asset will it be a supply no baba no condition did not fulfill are we clear and you know what if outward is not a supply no government says no output tax i will not give you input tax also if you say no output tax government says what this itc also now i will block it i will not give it to you you can't take this credit did you guys get my thought everyone sure can i ask you once again everyone tell me i am a pharma company people i am a chalo i'll give you same example pharma company pharma company does what they buy thermometer yes i went ahead and bought thermometer and i sold thermometer section number everyone seven one okay I am, a I am a pharma company. I bought thermometer. Okay, everyone. And I went ahead and gave. I took the ITC. Okay, I did not take the ITC and give it for free. Not. Is it permanent transfer of business asset? Yes. But did I take the ITC? No. So will it be a supply? No. 71C? Not applicable. Can I go ahead, everyone? Is everyone 100% clear with this? Now, I bought thermometer. I bought thermometer i took the itc and i gave i gave it for free permanent transfer of business asset did i take the itc will it be a supply over clear i bought powder powder to make medicine okay everyone powder to make medicine, medicine. i took the itc on the powder i made out of this medicine okay everyone now, my question to you guys, everyone listen carefully, okay? If this medicine, I sold it. Sold then which section? 7-1. Sale for a consideration in the course of business, always the supply, right? Everyone, everyone is clear with this? Sure. Now, I bought powder. I went ahead and took the ITC on the powder, converted it into medicine and now gave medicine for free. There was charity. I gave it for free. Is it permanent transfer of a business asset? Yes. yes. But is it that business asset on which ITC was taken? No. ITC was taken on such asset? No, sir. ITC was taken on powder. Given free is what? Yes. And hence, will it be a supply, everyone? No. no. If it is not a supply, will GST come? No. Government says, Ramesh, when you are not paying any GST, I will not give you any input tax, credit, and you know what? Government will block this credit. Government will? No. Are we all 100% clear? Can I go ahead, everyone? Sure. 100% everyone. Clear. Louder. Yes, do you want me to do it once again or got it? Got it. Sir. Got it. Chalo, I'll ask you some more question then. I went ahead and gave one, made one example. Let's go ahead and understand this. Everyone over here. 
<laughs> I have already told you, but still, we'll do it. Stable over here. A coaching institute is there. They bought what assets and disposed of or sold it during the year. Whether the event amount to supply, if yes, under which section? Okay. We bought a television. We took the ITC. Now sold the television. Section number 71A. Whether it will be a supply? Yes. Okay. Next. We bought a projector for using in the business. Did not take the ITC, but we sold it. 71. Will it be a supply? Yes. Okay. You are thinking about our business only, right? We are a coaching institute doing this. Okay. We bought cloth as stock. We sold cloth. 71. Anyone any doubt? Selling will always come under 71. Okay. We bought cloth, availed ITC, and we distributed the cloth. What did we give for free? Took ITC on cloth, gave free also cloth. 71. C. Supply? Yes. Okay. I bought cloth, gave cloth also for free, but did not take the ITC. Will 71 C apply? Why? ITC was not taken. Can I go ahead, everyone? Okay. I bought cloth, availed ITC, made shirt, and sold the shirt. 71 A. A. Okay. Supply, not supply. People got it, everyone. Very good. I bought cloth. Out of the cloth, I take the ITC, made shirt, shirt distributed for free. People, cloth given free, shirt. Will it be supply? Why no? You took ITC on cloth, given free is shirt. So it will not be a If it is not a supply, will I get ITC also? ITC will be block. Are we all 100% clear? Can I close this discussion and go ahead everyone now? Sure. Chalo. We are done with section number 71 over here. Let's go to the next one. Section number uh, 71C ka schedule 1 ka paragraph number 1 is done. Paragraph number 2. It talks about supply between related person. Supply between related person or distinct person. I am cutting distinct person. You don't cut anything in the chart book unless I tell you. Supply between related person in the course or furtherance of your business. Now tell me one thing. If in the course of my business, in the course of my business or for the advancement of my business, if I go ahead and do any transaction with my related person, they are telling that will also be a supply. For an example, I will go ahead and tell you. My wife is my related person. Are yes or no? Yes. Supposing this is my wife. My wife is my related person. Do you guys agree with me? Now, I went ahead. I am a sari seller. We buy saris for our business. Yes or no, everyone? I gave it to my wife free. Supply between what, everyone? Related? Did I do it in the course of my business? You have to see whether that sari was recorded in your business as a business expense or did you do as a drawing? Tell me one thing. Can, can't I buy sari and give it to my wife? Yes. Will that be supply? No. But if I buy something as my business expense, bought it, bought a sari for my business to deal in my business. And what I did, I gave it to my wife for free. What government is selling, Ramesh, your feelings, you keep it. I want GST. Are we clear? Did I go ahead and buy the sari in the course of my business to do business? Might be I am a sari seller. I bought saris to sell. What I did? I gave it to my wife for free. Go government is selling, Ramesh, it will be a supply between whom? Did you do it in the course of your business? It will be a supply. Now, what do you mean by course of your business when you show it as your business expense? If supposingly I bought one toy, I am a toy uh, seller. I bought toys. My kid is there. I gave the toys to my kid. My question to you guys, if I buy toys for my business and I give it to my kid, is it supply between related person? Yes. Will I have to pay GST? Government is selling rubbish. Your emotions, you keep it. But I want GST on the toys. But can't I buy toys and give it to my son as a personal expense? Yes. If I am not showing it in my business, I buy toys and give it to my son. That is not in the course of my business and then GST will not come. Is my point clear to all? Can we go ahead everyone? Are we all clear? Yes. Chalo. I will go ahead and tell you what do you mean by related person. Can you guys see related person? I have gone ahead and given the definition down. 
yes everyone related person the definition the scope is very big related person the scope is very big scope plus family plus sole agent or distributor is always your related person who are your related person everyone scope plus family plus sole agent everyone s means what shares or stock greater than equal to 25 percent in both of them i'll explain you everyone in both of them if i'm holding shares or stock greater than 25 percent in both it means people we are learning what related if a limited is there a limited is holding in b limited also and a limited is holding in c limited also how much 25 percent shares here also and 25 percent shares in c limited also a is holding in b how much everyone and a is holding in c how much everyone then tell me one thing is a and b related person no is a and b a and c related person no 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 if a is holding in b 25 is a is holding in c 25 then these two will become related person who both of them will become related person i am holding in you also 25 percent share i am holding in you also 25 percent share you both will become related is me and you and me and you related person no tell me one thing i am holding in your company 25 percent share are we related person no i am holding in your company and this company 25 who will become related these two company will become related shares or stock greater than equal to how much percent everyone in both of them then both will become related the next one is Control, control, direct or indirect control. People, listen to me very carefully. Control. Sir, how is control implemented? Baba, control actually when you come to CA final, you learn the control ka definition in income tax. That control ka definition has to be put. But as of now, control, you can think that when one company is holding in other company, 51% share. Holding company is there. You are the what? subsidiary company it means holding company is controlling the subsidiary company when one company is going ahead and appointing more than 50 percent of the board of director or it is going ahead and controlling the board controlling all the decisions if one company is controlling the decision of the other company if one company is holding more than 51 percent share of one another company then both are known as what holding and subsidy so holding company is doing what control on the subsidiary company are we clear everyone so when one company controls the other company how will they control everyone by holding more than 51 percent share or by by going ahead and appointing the majority of the board of directors who is appointing everyone this company is appointing then this company is controlling the other company there are a lot of things which are there but as of now you think when one company is controlling the other company means they are holding at least how much percent share 51 percent share it is simple to understand next now Tell me one thing, if A limited is controlling B limited, then is A and B related? Yes. A is holding B limited. A is the holding company of B limited. A is holding more than 51% share in B limited. Is A limited controlling B limited? So is A and B related? Yes. Or if B is going ahead and holding in A limited 51% share, is A and B related person? Yes or no everyone? Supposingly, this is Papa here, this is Mama here. Papa is controlling Mama or Mama is controlling Papa. Are they both related person? Yes. Same thing over here. When A is controlling B or B is controlling A by holding how many percent share? 51 percent share. share. Then Baba remember these two will always become what everyone? Related person. Are we clear everyone? When one person controls the other or the other person is controlling the other, these two will become related person. Is my point clear? Chalo. Next. Supposingly, there is A limited company, people, and A limited controls B limited. My question is, when A limited is controlling B limited, is A and B related? Okay. A limited is also controlling C limited. When you control, are you related person? Sure. Because A is controlling B and A is controlling C, because of a common control, B and C will become related. Are we clear everyone? Can we go ahead? Clear? Chalo. The next one over here is, supposingly B limited is there and C limited is there. 
B is also controlling D limited, might be because of share holding. And they are, C limited is controlling D limited, might be because they are going ahead and appointing the majority of the board of directors and they are controlling. Are we clear? Both the companies are controlling whom? My question, when B is controlling D, when they are, are they related person? When C is controlling D, are they related person? My question is, who will become related? Because they are commonly controlling someone, these two will become related person. Are we clear everyone? People tell me one thing. When I am controlling you or you are controlling me, we both are related person. Both of us are being controlled by someone else. Are both of us related person? Is me and that person and that person and this person also related? Yes. When both of us are controlling someone else, both of us are controlling someone, are both of us also related person? I'll tell you over here like this. For an example, A, so Papa controls Mama. Or Mama controls, who is related everyone? Both are related person. Do you guys agree with me? Your grandpa who is there? Grandpa controls Papa also. Is grandpa and Papa related person? Yes. Grandpa controls Mama also. Is grandpa and Mama also related person? Yes. Because they is controlling both of them, do both these become related person? Yes. Are we clear? Papa and Mama control whom? You son or daughter does papa and mama control the son and daughter is papa and son related person yes. is papa is mama and the daughter related person yes. because both are controlling one person these both also will become related yes. did you guys understand this can i go ahead everyone tell me one thing i am controlling b limited b limited is controlling me are we both related person yes. Both of us are being controlled by someone else. Are both related person? Both of us are controlling someone else. Are both of us related person? Can I go ahead everyone? Next. The next one is one officer or directors of each other's one another's business. Whenever you are officer or directors of one another's business, then also you are related person. Everyone over here now. Now everyone here. What is it? Officer or directors of each other's? Is this. Officers or directors of each other's business. Listen. This is Ram. This is? This is Shyam. Listen. Ram has Ram Limited. This is his company known as what everyone? Ram Limited. And this is Shyam. Shyam ka company known as what everyone? Ram is a director in Shyam Limited. Sham is a director in Ram is a director in and Sham is a director in Ram Limited. Remember always both of them will become related. Ram and Sham are they related person? Because officers or directors of one another's business. If I am a director in your business, you are a director in my business, or you are an officer in my business, I am an officer in your business, then we both become what everyone? Are we all clear till here? Can we go ahead, everyone? Next. Partners in business. Baba, in a partnership, A, B, C are there. Are all the three related person? A is related to B, B is related to C, and C is related to A. All are related person. Partners in business are always related person. Then, employer and employee. I am the employer, you are the employee. Are we related person? They are telling employer and employee are always related person. Tell me one thing. What did we learn in scope, everyone? If I am holding shares or shares greater than or equal to how much percent everyone? In both of them, then both will become related. C for I am controlling you, you are controlling me, we both are related. We both are being controlled by someone, then are we both related? We both are controlling someone, or are we related? O for officer or director. I am a director in your business, you are a director in my business. Are we related everyone? Partners. Are partners related person? Okay. E for Employer and employee. Are employer and employee related person? Always remember, if you are my employee, you are always my related person. Then they are telling family. Baba, family. Tell me one thing. When I talk about family, one is Supreme Court. What is Supreme Court? My spouse. Are my wife. For the husband, the wife. For the wife, the husband. And my children. And my Did I tell you PGBS yesterday? PGBS, you corrected me, PGBP, but we have to remember PGBS. 
What is PGBS parents? Grand parents grow and say, don't write in the exam blow and say, write full form. So, okay, everyone, now listen. If if I have a spouse and I have children, whether they are independent, whether they are independent, independent or they are dependent. dependent on me, always they will be my related person. For an example, my wife is a chartered accountant and working in a company. Is she my related person? Yes. yes. Dependent, independent, she will always be my. My wife is not my related person. Independent, so what? Dependent, so what? She is always my related person. My child, supposingly, my son who is there, okay? my son is a doctor. My son is a doctor. Now he is four months old. Okay? So now he is a doctor. Huh. Okay? Supposingly, my son is a doctor well settled. Everyone, my son is a doctor and well settled. Dependent, independent. independent. Still, he is my related person. My son is four months old. He is dependent on me. Related in, in, and, and not related. <laughs> Are we clear, everyone? Your Supreme Court, Baba, spouse and children. Dawn of the home. Correct. Related, not related. Always related. Can we go ahead, everyone? Next. Your parents, your grandparents, your brother and your if they are dependent on you, if they are dependent. only then they are your related. If they are independent, they are not your related. For an example, my father is a doctor and he is well settled. Is he my related person? Actually, he is, but GST, he is not. Are we clear, everyone? GST is not your related person. My grandparents are dependent on me and staying with me. Related, not related. related. Why related? They are dependent. Yeah. My brother is studying law and he is dependent on me. Related, not related. Yeah. Related. My brother is an advocate, well-known advocate. Dependent, not dependent. No. Not well-known, well-settled. Then that means he is not dependent. He is not dependent. Is he my related person? Not related. Are we clear? My sister, my sister is married, well-settled. Is she my related person? No. no. But she is dependent on me then. Yes. Are we all clear till here? Tell me one thing. Did I tell you about S C O P E? Plus, I told you about family. Baba family is spouse and children and P G P S. Can I go ahead, everyone? Next. And this is always related, but this dependent only. Independent? Not related. Now, plus sole agent or sole distributor. For an example, I'll tell you about sole agent or distributor. I make, supposingly, this glass, these bottles I make. These bottles I go ahead and make. Okay, everyone. And I have gone ahead and appointed, sir, your name? Bharat. I have appointed Bharat. This is Bharat over here. Are Sharat or Bharat, okay. I went ahead and told Bharat. See, everyone. I told Bharat, I, I am the manufacturer of these bottles. I will give you the bottles. You sell it further. Bharat is my only agent across India. I give all the bottles to him and he sells it further to people. My question over here, when he is my only sole agent, is he my related person? They are telling if you have only sole agent, if you have only, sole. tell me one thing, sole means what? Only one. Is it every state may one or only one across India? Only one across India. India. Can I go ahead everyone? Done. So, we have learned scope plus family. Family is spouse and children. Parents, grandparents, brother and sister only if dependent. Are we all clear till here everyone? Now, whenever there is a transaction which is happening with whom everyone? Related person. If it is done in the course of your business, it will always be what everyone? Supply. Are we all clear till here? Now, tell me one thing everyone. Even if, okay. I have gone ahead and done a transaction with my, supposingly, I am going ahead and controlling B Limited. Is B Limited my related person, everyone? We control B Limited. So, is B Limited my related person? We went ahead and sold them some goods. Section number? 7-1. We went ahead. This is B Limited. And we went ahead and gave them some goods. Without any consideration, we have just gone ahead and transferred them some goods. Can you tell me, will it be a supply? 7-1. C. If supply is happening between whom, everyone? 
I went ahead and transferred some goods to my related person. Will it be a supply? Yes or no, everyone? Even if without, will it be a supply between related person? Yes. Can I go ahead, everyone? Chalo. Let's go ahead and understand this like this. So, do we have any example of this? Ah, we have one example. Take it. But before we understand the example, we'll understand this. People, listen. Tell me one thing. If I am going ahead and giving something, okay, people. If I am giving it to my related person, people over here, everyone. People over here on the board, on the board, on the board. I bought one shirt. Okay. I took the input tax credit. I gave it free to my friend. Section number, everyone. Seven one C paragraph number schedule one ka paragraph number one. paragraph number one. Do you guys agree with me? It's a permanent transfer of a business asset on which I had taken the. Okay, I went ahead and bought one sari in the course of my business, and I went ahead. It is bought in the course of my, and generally in the course of your business, you will take the input tax credit. It is in the course of your business, right, everyone? I went ahead and gave it to my wife for free. This is my wife. Will it be a supply, everyone? Section number seven one C, paragraph number. Baba, remember when it comes to related person, it will always come in paragraph number two. But supposingly you are giving to anyone else who is not falling in related person ka definition, then you will have to see whether it is falling in seven one A. Are we clear? If it is given to a related person, then seven one. C ka second paragraph. But if it is not to related person, friend, etc., then 71A. Is government covering all of them? Related, not related, both are covered. Yes or no, everyone? Can we go ahead? Is my point clear till here? Please tell me if you have a doubt. Quickly. Huh? Can we go ahead, everyone? Next. Everyone over here now. Then they are telling people here, here, here. Gift given to employee. Up to how much? 50,000 50, per annum per employee. It is an exception. Tell me one thing, everyone. Is employee also a related person? Yes. Chalo. I'll do one thing. In the course of my business, this is in the course of my business. I bought some things. Supposingly, I bought sari. People, tell me one thing. I bought some sari in the course of my business. I went ahead and took the ITC. I gave the sari, supposingly, to my friend. This is my friend who is there. I gave the sari to my friend. My question is, will it be a supply? Section number 71C, permanent transfer of business asset. Did I take the ITC? Will it be a supply? Okay. I bought some sari in the course of my business. I took the ITC. I gave the sari to my wife. This is my friend. This is my wife. Now, my question is, will it come under 71C? Yes. Section number, paragraph number? Two. Are we clear? It is a supply between whom? Related person. Related person. Are we clear? In the course of your business, if you buy a sari and give it to them. Now, you tell me one thing. If I buy it for non, not in the course of my business, can I buy a sari and give it to my wife? Yes. Will it become a supply that time? No. Take it. Now, I'll ask you one more thing. For an example, if I go ahead and tell you, one of my, we are dealing in sari. Now, it is Diwali. So, what we did to our employee who is there? To our employee. We went ahead and gave one sari. We bought sari. Okay, everyone. We took the ITC. We took the... People, tell me one thing. Here, was it a supply? Any problem with the ITC? No. Here, was it a supply? Yes. yes. Can I take the ITC? Any problem with the ITC? If outward is a supply, ITC can be taken. My question is, if I give it to my employee, for an example, the value of the sari is only 5,000 rupees. How much is the value, everyone? My question is, will it be a supply? Supply between related person, but if you are giving gift to your employee, up to how much? Per annum, per employee, then it will not be a, it will, it is actually a supply between whom related person, but then they told, because it is up to 50,000, it will not be a supply, means you can give gift to your employees up to how much everyone? Now, when it is not a supply, what about ITC? ITC will be? Blocked. Is my point clear to all? Can I go ahead? Tell me one thing. I went ahead and bought one iPad. Okay? 
सेवेंटी थाउजेंड का आईपैड आई वेंटेड एंड टूक द आई टी सी फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज आई टी सी आई गेव इट टू माई एम्प्लॉय आई गेव इट टू माई एम्प्लॉय वैल्यू ऑफ द आईपैड इज सेवेंटी थाउजेंड रुपीज माई क्वेश्चन इज विल इट बी अ सप्लाई सेक्शन नंबर पैराग्राफ नंबर टू विल इट बी अ सप्लाई इफ इट इज अ सप्लाई विल आई गेट द आई टी सी ऑल्सो यस आर वी क्लियर एवरी वन कैन आई गो हेड एवरी वन Tell me one thing. It does it mean like this that if I am giving to my related person, and related person is an employee, if he is a employee, if value is up to less than fifty thousand, less than it will be a. It will not be a supply. If it is not a supply, ITC will be block. But if I am giving to related person, and related person is my. Employee and if the value is more than fifty thousand, then it will be a. If it is a supply, will I get the I T C? Yes. No problem. ठीक है. If I am going ahead and giving to a related person only, it it is given to a related others other related person. Can you tell me if the value is rupees hundred, will it be a supply? If any other related person is there, will it be a supply everyone? And sir. What about ITC? Any problem? No. If you are eligible, you can take the ITC. Are we clear, everyone? Can we go ahead, everyone? Next. So, you, if it is hundred rupees, it will be a supply. And can you take the ITC, everyone? Is my point clear to all? Can I go ahead, everyone? Next. Now, people, what did we learn till now? Can you tell me? Section number seven. Section number seven one. A. All forms for a. In the course of your will be considered as supply. A, a person other than doing an activity with the or member doing an activity with them will always be considered as supply. B everyone business non business both will be considered as supply. Chalo, let's move to the third one over here. C may schedule one. How many paragraph? One, two, three, four. We have learned the one number one. Everyone, what is number one? Permanent transfer of a business asset on which you have taken the. It will be considered as supply. Sir, what if I don't take the ITC? Not a supply. Supply between related person. Is my point clear till here? If it is done in the course of your. Chalo. The next one over here is supply between related person or distinct person. What do you mean by distinct person? Everyone, let's go ahead and understand about distinct person. But before I go ahead and do a distinct person ka example, I have got an example for you. See, those are all examples which I give. No, already I would have gone ahead and given it to you guys. But let's do some example. Chalo. Everyone over here. A toy store owner bought toys to sell in the course of his. The following event occurred. Comment whether event amounts to supply. If yes, under which section? He bought toy store bought what everyone? Availda sold it. Section number. Very good. He bought toys. Availda gave it free to friend's daughter. Bought the toy and gave it to friends. This is friends' daughter. This is not the toy. Toy is this. Huh. Seven one. C. C. Paragraph number one. Very good. Bought the toy. Availed the ITC. Gave it to his son. A hey, son. Oh no. Huh? Seven one. Paragraph number two. Okay. Hey, this son is not a notorious boy. Okay, everyone. Huh? Everyone over here now. ठीक है. Everyone over here now. Next, he bought toys. Avail the, gave it to employee, and the value of the toys is only forty thousand. Is it supply, everyone? If it is not a supply, ITC also will not be. It will be. No. Okay. He bought stock, which is uh, this thing, toys. He took the ITC. Gave it to the employee. One employee, co he gave it for how much value? Everyone, one lakh forty thousand. 
पर एम्प्लॉय पर एन एम हाउ मच इज दैल्यू लिमिट फिफ्टी वॉट इफ इट इज फिफ्टी फाइव फाइव थाउजेंड पे जीएसटी विल कम और टोटल फिफ्टी फाइव टोटल तो हियर वन लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड विल इट बी अप्लाई सेक्शन नंबर सी पैराग्राफ नंबर आर वी ऑल हंड्रेड परसेंट क्लियर एवरी वन कैन वी गो हेड नेक्स्ट चलो पीपल नाउ एवरी वन ओवर हियर नाउ देर इज डिस्टिंग पर्सन लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट डू मीन बाई एवरी वन डिस्टिंग पर्सन people everyone listen to me very carefully distinct person what does it mean in one state when you take gst registration in a state when you take gst for an example if i go ahead and talk about the state of karnataka over here this is the state of delhi for an example theek okay? hai in the state of delhi under my pan number under my pan number if supposingly in the state of delhi i have two shop how many shops everyone one is electronic shop and one more is electronic shop people listen carefully okay one is also electronic another is also if one is electronic shop another is also electronic shop under my pan number how many race shops i have two how many registrations do i have to take in gst what if my turnover has already crossed 40 lakh rupees how many registration okay i will take one registration i will show this place as my main place of business which is known as principal place i will call this place as what everyone <coughs> principal place of business and you know what i will show this place as my additional place of business additional place of business means i will show that this is my main shop and this is my branch are we clear and how many registration can i take one registration so in the eye of gst when i have taken one registration when the gst sees me they will see only one registration or only one registration under that i can have two shops also correct everyone now supposingly in the same example under my pan number in the state of delhi no what i did why to take only one registration i thought i'll take separate separate registration means under my pan number how many shops i have two shop one registration i have taken for one shop another shop ke liye if i want i can take one more registration if i want i can take one more but you know what two registration means two gst return are we clear everyone two gst so in the eye of gst how many people are there one or two so this is known as distinct person if under my one pan number one person takes how many registration then in the eye of gst this is a different person this is a different person and hence that is the concept of what everyone distinct so in the eye of gst this will be a different person and this will be a different listen from here stock was sent from here to here this is one different person this is one different distinct person yes or no everyone so when stock will go from one electronic shop you transfer the stock to another shop is it a transfer is it people now listen supply between whom distinct in the course of your business tell me one thing from here to here is it a supply between your distinct person from one distinct person is a goods going to another distinct person yes or no everyone you just transfer the stock there is no consideration will it be a supply yes that is what they are telling even without consideration it will be considered as what everyone supply are we all clear till here i'll tell you once again tell me first of all what do you mean by distinct person same state people same state one registration under that only i have kept all my business are they different different person or only one person in the eye of gst how many registration i have taken under my pan number one so are they different person now tell me one thing if i am transferring stock from here to here will it be a supply why no because both are not distinct they are only one person if i am transferring from one hand to another hand some goods will it be a supply so when it is same under same registration two different under one registration there are two shops which are there from here to here here to here if anything is coming it will not be a supply but supposingly i'll go ahead and tell you if i go ahead and take one registration supposingly one registration i have already taken here and for this i took one more registration can i do that everyone yes in the eye of gst under my pan number how many registration everyone 
टू रजिस्ट्रेशन मीन टू सेपरेट पर्सन टू डिफरेंट डू यू गाइज अग्री विथ मी टू डिफरेंट तो नाउ इफ स्टॉक इज गोइंग फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर विल इट बी सप्लाई यस आई गो हेड एंड टेल यू टेल मी वन थिंग सेम स्टेट सेपरेट रजिस्ट्रेशन आर दर डिस्टिंग पर्सन सेम स्टेट टू सेपरेट रजिस्ट्रेशन आर दर डिस्टिंग पर्सन यस ओके चलो आई गिव यू वन मोर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज द स्टेट ऑफ डेली दिस इज द स्टेट ऑफ आसाम ओके एवरी वन इन डेली आई हैव वन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक शॉप there i have taken one registration assam i have one more electronic shop one more shop i have taken one more and both are under my pan number only when you take registration you have to give your pan number under my pan only one registration in delhi one registration in assam can i operate with one registration across india no registration is to be taken state wise so did i take one registration here did i take one registration here in the i of gst how many registrations are there are there distinct person yes. stock transferred from this shop to this shop will it be a supply yes. is it a supply between distinct person yes. in the course of business yes. will gst come on this transfer yes. are we all clear sir but without consideration given on what amount will you charge gst correct one shop to another shop goods given without consideration on what amount gst will come baba 71c may as of now 71c you are learning what whether gst will come or not whether it is a supply or not on what value because it is without consideration right so on what value gst will come that we will learn in cfn are we clear valuation rules are there which will be applied and we will find out the value are we clear and intermediate level you just have to know whether it is supply or not a supply are we clear everyone can i go ahead next tell me one thing same state two separate registration are they distinct person yes. yes one state registered another state registered are they distinct person one state registered another state registered distinct person yes or no yes. okay yes now you know what i have i have one karnataka me one electronic shop okay everyone and i have gone ahead and taken what everyone registration gst registration under my pan number you know in the state of tamil nadu this is the state of our border state i have opened one alcohol shop there morning sell electronics evening go and sell alcohol theek hai everyone this is what everyone my alcohol shop tell me one thing alcohol pe gst is there no gst but will will i take gst registration if no gst why will i take gst registration if i don't have to collect and pay when you don't have to pay anything alcohol pay is gst there so i will not take any but tell me one thing are these both shop under my pan number only yes. one is in the state of karnataka which is registered one is not registered because it is selling alcoholic liquor but do you know what one shop which is registered one shop in another state not registered for an example here say here i transfer television here so that people who are drinking can watch tv i send one tv from the electronic store to the alcohol shop can i do that will it be a supply yes it will be a supply between see in the i of gst under your pan one registration is there that other place where you have not taken registration do you have a separate establishment is that a separate establishment is that a separate shop altogether yes both will be different person are we clear everyone people you know what tell me one thing in the same state in the same state i have two shops operating under one registration are they distinct person yes or no 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 same state two separate registration are they distinct person yes so whenever goods are transferred from year to year will it be a supply yes okay one state registered another state also registered are they distinct person yes or no everyone yes one state registered another state registered also distinct person one state registered another state not registered are they still distinct person yes for an example i'll give you one more example i am in the state of karnataka i have one electronic shop over here theek okay, hai everyone and here this is the state of tamil nadu in the state of tamil nadu i am selling petrol you know petrol everyone is there any gst on there on petrol i have a petrol pump over here will i take registration 
GST registration I will not take. But under my pen, will I take one registration here? Remember, here also, this will be treated as belonging to distinct person and this shop will be treated as belonging to distinct person. From here, if I transfer anything, will it be a supply everyone? Yes. Are we all clear till here? Can we go ahead everyone? Clear? Next. Everyone over here now. This circular I will not talk now. Circular is there. Can you guys see circular number one? We will talk about it in the next class. Take everyone because today you guys are kids learning GST still. So in the next class I will go ahead and talk about the circulars also. Everyone over here. Third one. Please come to the third one everyone. Third one talks about supply between principal and agent. People what do you mean by principal and what do you mean by agent? People listen to me very carefully. Everyone over here. What do you mean by an agent? One who goes ahead and sells the goods on behalf of principal. Are you have seen consignment accounts when you have when you are kids? How many of you remember? Okay. People who don't remember also no problem. I'll remind you now. Everyone over here. One is a principal, another is a agent. Now, what happens is principal, supposingly I am in the state of Karnataka. Principal is in the state of Karnataka. Karnataka. I want to sell goods in Delhi. Now, Delhi, I don't have a shop. Delhi, I don't have a shop. So, what I will do is Delhi, I will appoint an agent. Delhi, I will appoint a I will tell him, you find out Bakra and you sell them my goods. Are you clear, everyone? And I will give you some commission. Are we clear, everyone? This is known as a agent. This is known as a agent people listen carefully everyone if you don't understand all this concept now till you reach ca final you will not be able to understand this concept and these are very important please listen everyone here i am a principal and i have a agent what does the agent do everyone i appointed an agent so that he can sell my goods further i told him see in delhi you know many customer i will give you my goods you sell it to them are we clear everyone and i will give you some commission so this is an agent now there are two types of agent everyone listen to me very carefully one agent is known as a commission agent who works solely for the purpose of what everyone commission and one is known as a consignment agent one is known as a cello let's go ahead and first understand about a commission agent okay everyone let's understand about a for an example this is one agent over here this is one guy this is one madam and madam wants to buy some sarees. For an example, madam is telling, I want Banarsi sari. She is in Banaras. Okay, and she wants to buy what? Banarsi sari. Now, this agent found her. He, this agent found her. She told, madam, what are you looking for? Madam told, I want to buy some sari, but I don't know a good shop. He told, madam, why worry? I will take you to the shop. He took her. This agent took her to one shop. And he told the shopkeeper, I uncle, madam wants some sari. Good sari. You please sell it to her. Okay, everyone, listen to me very carefully. Uncle went ahead and sold the sari to madam. Sari given plus invoice was also given. And invoice was in the name of whom, everyone? Madam. madam. So, who's, what is the name of madam? Madam, your name? Uh, this is Madhumita. Okay, everyone. Now, this is what everyone invoice given in the name of Madhumita. Now, you tell me one thing. Madam will pay him. He gave the invoice. Madam went ahead and paid. My question is, who am I? Agent. Which agent? What am I? What you like? Sir, because of me, you sold the goods to her. Give me some. So, I will give him one invoice. For what everyone? Commission. And I will take my. Do you guys agree with me? So, who am I? I am just a commission agent. What is the work of a commission agent? Listen, listen, listen. You will sell the goods directly to the customer. Customer will directly make the payment to you. Who am I in between? I am just a commission agent. I'll tell sir, because of me only you made the sale. No, I will give you an invoice for commission. At least give me 10% commission. So who am I everyone? Commission agent. My question to you guys everyone. Was there any supply? People listen carefully. Chalo, I will go ahead and talk about another agent now. For an example, 
This is one, madam. Okay, who is this? This is A. And this is the principal. People listen carefully, okay? Principal, principal sends the goods to the agent. He tells agents, listen, you take one, go down on rent. You take one, go down on rent. I will send you, I will send you shirts. You keep shirts and sarees. You keep them in the go down. You keep them in the go down. As and when customers come, no, you keep selling it to them. Are we clear? Tell me one thing. These customers know this agent or they know me. Agent. So customer ko agent will give the invoice. This invoice which is given will be in the name of whom? Are it will be given by the agent in his name. No, that I am the seller. And this person will buy. They will make the payment to the agent. So like this, what will he do? I will send the goods to him. He will keep the goods in the go down. People listen carefully. He will sell the goods. He will collect the money. He will sell the goods. He will collect the money. Yes or no, everyone? This agent at the month end, no, he will tell me now, sir, he will give me one statement. He will give me one account statement in which he will say, sir, on your behalf, I told, sold 20 customers for goods. Yes, everyone, 20 customer, I sold for 1000 rupees sari. 20,000 rupees sari I took, got 20,000 rupees I got from them, sir. Out of this, my expense to make the sale, I took this go down on rent. My expense was 3,000 rupees. Sir, out of this, my commission which is there is supposedly 5,000 rupees. On 20,000, 5,000 is the. So, he will go ahead and pay remaining amount, how much everyone? 12,000, he will pay to the. Are we clear everyone? Can you tell me? This agent is which agent? Is he commission agent or he is keeping the consignment with him? So he is known as a consignment agent. Are we clear everyone? This guy is known as what everyone? Consignment agent. Now listen carefully. Principal sent the goods to me. I kept the goods with me and then I sold the goods further. When I am selling, in whose name the invoice is there? My name, right? People, when I am selling, the invoice is in my. So, when principal send the goods to me, no, that will also be considered as supply. They are telling when the principal sends the goods, no. At that time, the principal says, I do one thing, agent, keep selling it. You sell for 1000, 2000, 2500, whatever price you sell. Take it from the customer and we'll settle our accounts after six months. Tell me one thing. Today, when I am sending it, is the agent selling further in his name? Is the agent selling the goods in his name? The so principal sending the goods. Principal sending the goods also will be considered as supply. Because when I was sending, what did I tell him? I am sending it to you. Keep it in the go down. Keep selling it. Six months later, we will settle the accounts. But tell me, at the time of sending, people, did I sell it in my name? So when principal send me the goods, is it also not a supply? So, government told under section number 71C, paragraph number 3, supply of goods between principal and agent also will be considered as, this also will be considered as what everyone? Is my point clear to all? I'll ask you one question everyone. Which agent is an agent under 71C? Who issues the invoice in? His name. Correct? What is the main thing you have to see? Sale ke liye, for the sale ke liye, who is giving the invoice? If I am giving the invoice in my name, I am the agent, I gave the invoice in my name. Is there a sale between principal and agent? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Principal directly gave the invoice. In the name of whom? Principal. The sale ka invoice is directly in the name of the? So here in the above one, the principal gave the invoice in the name of the? Sale, seller is who? Principal, customer made the direct payment to him. Who am I? Am I an agent as per section number 71C? No, I am just a commission. My question to you guys, my question to you guys, is there a sale by the principal to the agent? Is there any supply between principal and agent over here? Or there is only one supply which is principal to the customer? Principal to the? Did you guys get it everyone? Tell me one thing. 
दिस इज द प्रिंसिपल दिस इज द एजेंट एंड दिस इज द कस्टमर प्रिंसिपल एजेंट एंड द प्रिंसिपल गिव द इन वॉइस इन द नेम ऑफ द प्रिंसिपल इन वॉइस इज इन द नेम ऑफ द कस्टमर मेक्स द पेमेंट दिस एजेंट इज एज पर सेक्शन नंबर सेवन वन सी का एजेंट इज देर ए सेल बाई द प्रिंसिपल टू द एजेंट इज देर ए सप्लाई बिटवीन प्रिंसिपल एंड एजेंट नो सर देर इज नो सप्लाई ओनली थिंग इज ही हेज गिवेन ए सर्विस फॉर विच ही विल रिसीव कमीशन आर वी ऑल क्लियर टिल यूर कैन वी गो एड एवरी वन क्लियर नेक्स्ट everyone over here now this is one principal this is one agent and this is one customer people principal agent and now principal gave me the goods principal sent the goods to me and he told you keep it in the godown theek hai and you sell it further i am selling it further invoice is given by me in my name i am the seller in the invoice and i am buying the goods can you tell me am i an agent as per 71c sure everyone yes or no is there a sale between agent and the customer my question when the principal is sending me the goods is this also a supply yes. as per section number 71 bag number 3 is my point clear to all can we go ahead everyone clear chalo next Tell me one thing. Chalo, I'll ask you. This was about a agent who is selling the goods. People, this is who is agent who is selling the goods on my behalf. Do you guys agree with me? Principal ka behalf me agent is selling the goods further. Which agent is covered, everyone? Consignment. Which agent is covered? Consignment. Okay. You will not see consignment agent or commission agent. You will see one thing. Invoice to the customer was given in agent's name. Or principal's name. My question is: If customer ko invoice was given in principal's name, am I an agent? Pass for seven one C. Is there a supply between principal and me? No. no. I'm just a commission agent. Yes. If customer ko invoice is given in my name, is there a supply between principal and agent? Yes, yes or no, everyone? Yes. So first principal will sell to the agent, and then agent is also selling to the customer. So if agent has given to the customer invoice in his name. For this also there is a supply and invoice has to be reached. This will also be considered as supply between principal and agent. Am I an agent? Was for seven one C. What will decide? Further sale ka invoice in is whose name? If I am giving the invoice in my name, am I an agent? As per seven one C. Yes. If no invoice in my name, principal ka name pe invoice is there. Then am I an agent? As per seven one C. Is there a sale between principal and agent? No, are we all clear? Chalo, I'll explain you one more thing. This was an agent who was selling it further. This was an agent who was selling it further. We can have examples of agent who are buying also. Agent who are buying. For an example, I am the principal. This is one agent, and I and this is one seller. This is one, not customer seller. I told my agent, see. I want this kind of remotes. I want this kind of remote. Can you find out a seller for me? Can you find out a? He told, okay, sir. He is in Delhi. I am in Bangalore, and there is a seller which he found in Delhi only. He told the seller, hey, seller, do one thing, seller. Directly go ahead and issue the invoice in whose name? Seller gave the invoice directly in his name. He made the payment. Who am I, everyone? Which agent? Commission agent. Do you guys agree with me? I am a commission. Is there a sale between agent and principal? The sale directly happened from here to here and here to. I will just give him commission ka invoice. He will make my commission ka payment. Do you guys agree? So I'll give you one more example. There is one principal. There is one agent, and there is a seller. Seller is in Delhi. my agent is in delhi and i am in karnataka i told my agent see agent i want this kind of remote can you find out a seller for me he found out one seller are we clear and he told the seller seller do one thing give the invoice in my name as me as the buyer give an invoice in my name 
and I will make the payment to you. My question over here, and you know what agent does? He buys, he sends the goods to the principal. He sends the goods to the, he buys, he sends the goods. What happens? No principal told. See, you keep buying it, you keep sending it to me. After six months, we will do one settlement. How much was the total amount of goods? You send me 100 goods, 1000 rupees each goods, 1 lakh rupees. Okay. Your commission is 10%. Okay, 10,000 rupees. Okay, your other expenses which are there might be 20,000 rupees. I will pay you total 1.2 lakh rupees after 6 months or 7 months, 8 months, whenever we do the settlement. But what you keep doing everyone? What does my agent do? He buys, he sends. He buys, he sends. Now my question over here, everyone. When he is buying, invoice in his name, did the sale get completed? Yes. Now, when he is sending the goods to the principal, is there a supply? Yes, yes or no, everyone? Yes. yes. And hence, will it be a supply, everyone? Yes. By the agent to the principal. And that is why I have written, this way also is possible and this way is also possible. Is my point clear to all? Can we go ahead, everyone? Everyone, tell me one thing. I will ask you and we will close this. Principal send, sells the goods to the customer in the name of the principal. Customer makes the payment to the principal. Might be through me only payment made. Whose name invoice was there? Principal. Is principal making any sale to the agent? Principal gave me the goods. I sold the goods in my name. Is there a sale by principal to agent? Yes. Okay. Seller. Seller. I am the agent and he is the principal. He wanted some goods. I found out a seller. Seller directly gave the invoice in the name of the principal. Principal is directly making the payment or principal makes the payment through me. Payment doesn't matter. Invoice was given in the name of the? Have I sold anything to the principal? Has the agent sold anything? Yes or no? No. Seller gave the invoice in my name. Seller gave the invoice in my name. I went ahead. Seller gave the invoice in my name. I send the goods to the principal. I buy, I sell. I buy, I sell. I buy, I send, not sell. I buy, I send. I buy, I send. And here and we go ahead and decide how much is the total amount the principal has to pay me, for an example. My question is when I am buying and sending the goods to the principal, is it a supply? Yes. Because the invoice is in my name. He issued the invoice in my name. When I am going ahead and sending the goods, is that a supply? Yes. yes. As per section number 71. Now, this circular which is there no, on agent and this relationship is there in the next page. I have already gone ahead and told you. You see everyone over here. Which agent will be covered? Agent is further supplying his, in his name. That is invoice is issued by the agent in his name. Or when he is buying, agent is procuring in his name. I am buying the goods in my. So, when I am sending it further, goods procured are invoiced in his name. Whose name everyone? Agent's name. Then when agent sends the goods to the principal, will it be a supply everyone? Yes or no everyone? Can I close this discussion? Then the agent is an agent as per schedule 1, paragraph number 3. Done. Chalo. People tell me one thing. What did we learn till now? Section number 7. Section number 7, what did we learn? 7, 1, A. A, 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 what did we learn? All forms for a consideration in the course of business. A, A. Person other than doing an activity with the or members doing an activity with them will be considered as are we clear if for a b everyone importation of business both will be considered as clear next section number seven one schedule one has to be referred in that four activities are given without consideration also will be considered as what everyone Number one, permanent transfer or disposal of business on which you have taken the second supply between or distinct in the course of your business. Third one, everyone, principal to agent or agent to principal. Which agent who is selling goods in his name or who is buying the goods in his name? Are we clear, everyone? So, further selling the invoice in my name or when I am buying the invoices in my name, then me and principal ke beech mein there is a supply. Are we all clear with this? Can we go ahead everyone? Now, we have the fourth paragraph over here. Please come to the fourth paragraph everyone.
चलो बिफोर एक्सप्लेनिंग यू फोर्थ पैराग्राफ आई विल गिव यू टू मिनट्स का ब्रेक यू गाइस कैन टॉक टू इच अदर चलो टू मिनट्स ब्रेक एवरी वन चलो लेट्स कंटिन्यू एवरी वन प्लीज सेटल डाउन लेट्स कंटिन्यू डू वन थिंग एवरी वन एवरी वन स्टैंड अप आई स्टैंड अप एवरी वन स्टैंड अप फ्रॉम मॉर्निंग यू गाइज आर सिटिंग वेरी टायर्ड नो स्टैंड अप एवरी वन All hands up, everyone! Hey, stand up, everyone! All hands up, hands down, sit down. Everyone, sit down, sit down. Get up, everyone! Ha ha ha! Okay, sir. Okay, sit down, everyone. Sit down. Stand up, everyone. Wait, I'm watching. Hey, stand up. Hey, you stand up. Stand, stand. stand. Hey, last man, stand up. Ah, uh, sit down, everyone. Sit down. Hands up, everyone. Hands down, everyone. Hands up, everyone. Hands up. Down. Hands up. Keep it up. Chalo. Okay, keep down, everyone. We'll continue. At least the people who were sleepy now must be less sleepy. Can we continue, everyone? <clears throat> now. people fourth paragraph people fourth paragraph now fourth paragraph importation of service people do you remember importation of service what is importation supplier is outside india recipient is in india and destination of the service is in india so you take importation of service from whom from a related person don't cut anything in the course or furtherance of your business even if you take without consideration it will be considered as supply chalo i'll explain this everyone importation of service from whom related person without in the course of your it will be considered as correct four things has to be there number 1 importation of number 2 related person number 3 without without consideration and last one in the course of business people tell me one thing if you import any service for a consideration which section 71b related not related doesn't matter 71b covers everything correct everyone but if it is without consideration 71c number 1 importation of service from related person without consideration for business okay my son my son is an architect in us my son is an architect in i told my son 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 we are making a home in india can you make the architectural design and give he told okay papa i'll make it son is outside india he told me like this like this you make it has i imported some service from him supplies outside india i am in india service taken in india importation is my son my related person yes son is always related is it without consideration yes i did not pay him is it for my business or personal so will it be a supply no can i go ahead everyone i told my son 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 you are an architect in the us our client who is there he wants some help with the architectural design can you help theek hai have i imported some service from him is he my related person is it without consideration he help me and i help my client now have i taken it for my business is it supply yes are we clear chalo i'll give you one more example my brother is an advocate in the us i told my brother in london he is an advocate in london my brother is a advocate but he is dependent on me i told him brother family dispute is there for that i want some of your suggestion he gave me some service he told me how what is to be done is importation of service everyone yes yes he is my brother who is dependent my related person yes without consideration yes is it for my business or personal will it be a supply no chalo are we all 100% clear can i go ahead chalo i'll give you one more example my brother is a well settled advocate in london i told him brother for our family dispute i want your help he told okay dude like this like this like this like this did i import some service yes he is my brother who is well settled my related person no. well settled no no he is not dependent he is not related without consideration yes. 
is it for my business or personal two condition not satisfied will it be a supply everyone no chalo i told my brother i told my brother my brother is a well settled advocate in london i told brother for our fam for our business we want some of your help he went ahead and helped me importation of service did i take it from my related person no brother independent is not your related without is it for my business yes but is it supply chalo theek my brother is studying law in us i told him he is dependent on me i told him see for my business i want some of your help he went ahead and helped me he gave me suggestions importation of service, service. is brother dependent related yes. yes is it without consideration yes. is it for my business yes, yes. is it supply yes. is this point clear to all of you yes. importation of service should be from whom yes. in the course of business only then it will be your supply if you don't receive it in the course of your business personal purpose then not a supply are we clear everyone can i go ahead tell me one thing everyone the next one over here if you see importation of service from related person or own establishment outside india can you see own establishment outside india everyone what do you mean by own establishment it means might be your head office is outside india or might be your branch office is outside india and you have taken some services from them people your head office or branch office is outside india and you have taken some services from them and that is what they are telling over here chalo i'll write like this importation of service from my own establishment own establishment outside india means my head office or my branch office which is outside india it should be for the and without only then it will be considered as chalo business outside india as a service importation theek hai everyone i'll give you one example i am supposingly peter peter uh, limited in india peter limited peter ka head company is in us peter ka head company is in yes. you know what my us ka head company does is any accounting which has to be done we don't do it do it in india in the us only they do the accounting our accounting process is done by whom yes. us wala head office tell me one thing is the indian company go us head office giving some services by doing the accounting yes. are they doing my accounting are they giving me some service yes or no is it importation of service yes is it my head office own establishment outside india is it for my business is it without consideration they did not charge me anything will it be a supply yes i'll give you one more example some companies kana billing is done by their head office from outside india now don't you think the billing should have been done by the branch office to its customer now for the customer the head office does the billing and gives it now has the head office given some services to the branch office suppliers outside india recipient is in india importation of is it given by my own head office is it in the course of my business is it without consideration is it supply yes chalo i'll give you one more example i am kanun limited india i have one company which is kanun limited usa theek hai everyone we'll draw like this we'll draw like this chalo we'll draw uh, we'll whose example we'll take ha sir your name sleepy boy ha huh? tell no tell whoever is thinking sir i i i i everyone is looking back baba anyone tell your name sri hari okay this is sri hari this is sri hari okay everyone oh this sri hari good boy theek hai and who is this baba this is sri hari ka wife are you see see story story is still there ha huh. now everyone listen this is sri hari good boy and this is his wife okay everyone his wife his wife stays in us from there only she is carrying him and he is in india people listen listen so what happened he went to kanun limited kanun 
limited India. And he told my wife is very dangerous. I want to take divorce from my wife. My wife is in US. Kanun Limited called its branch, which is in US, and told, see, his wife is there in US. We have to take the divorce. Can you tell me what are the documents we should take from him so that the divorce, divorce process can be done? They went ahead and gave him some services. They told, take, take his Aadhaar card. Okay, everyone? Okay, Aadhaar card. In the US, it will work. Everyone here now. Take his what, everyone? Aadhaar card. Okay, one minute. What is the problem? Ha, okay. Now, tell me one thing. Is Kanun Limited US giving some services to Indian branch? Importation of? Is it given by my own establishment outside India? Is it given for my business? Have I taken the services for my business? Is it without consideration? If it is for a consideration, 71B. Are, for a consideration, everything is covered in 71B. Yes? Without consideration, will it be a supply, everyone? It means have, have Kanun Limited US branch given to the Kanun Limited India branch some services? Yes or no, everyone? Yes. Are we clear, everyone? Can I go ahead? Tell me one thing, everyone. People, importation of service. I taught you two places. One is I taught you in section number 71B and section number 71C. 71B may I told you whether it should be for a consideration. 71C covers when it is without. 71B says whenever you have taken it for your business purpose or you have taken it for your non-business purpose, both will become a. But 71C goes ahead and says importation of service without consideration if you are taking. It should be taken only from whom? Related person or own establishment. It should be taken for your business purpose. Only then it will be a. Are we clear everyone? Can we go ahead? People, anyone any doubt with this? Sure. I took interior designing services from a company in US. Interior designing services from a company in US. For a consideration for my business. Supply, not supply. Okay. Consideration, business, will it be a supply? Yes. yes. I took interior designing services for my home purpose, for a consideration. Okay. Non-business, will it be a supply? Yes. yes. I took importation of services from my related person for my business without consideration. Okay. Related person for my business, will it be a supply? Yes. If I take it for a consideration, Business, supply, normal. Can I go ahead everyone? Without consideration, it will become a supply only if related person or own establishment and it is for? Are we clear everyone? Can I go ahead everyone? Chalo. People over here now. Listen, I will not teach you anything more. I will do some question answers now. Aram se will do some question answers so that our concept settles down. Okay everyone? Tell me one thing. First of all, what did we learn till now? Section number 7. Section number 7 one. A. a all forms for a consideration in the course of business b a a person other than who has many members members doing an activity or they are doing an activity with the member for a it will be considered as supply b everyone for a consideration business both will be considered as chalo 71C. 71C told, please go to schedule 3. Schedule 1. In that we have given how many activities? All activities without consideration also will be considered as what everyone? Number 1 everyone. Louder. Permanent transfer of business asset where ITC was taken on such asset. What you transferred, ITC also taken on that. Second one everyone. Supply between person or in the course of your third one, principal to agent or agent to, which is this agent? Who is selling in his name or buying in his name? Importation of service from whom? Or own establishment which is outside India for, without, also will be considered as. Clear everyone, anyone any doubt with this, can we go ahead everyone? Chalo, people over here, now listen, please come to your textbook.
Let's do some question answers and see what we have learned. Please come to your textbook, everyone. People watching at home, are we all 100% clear? Are people watching at home? Run away, everyone. Are we all 100% clear till here? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Phase number 2.22. Please come to 2.22, everyone. People sleeping in the class will be told to stand up and stand on the bed. Everyone, can we go ahead? Hello. Can we go ahead, everyone? Number one. People here, what is the taxable event under GST? What is the taxable event? What event will happen when GST will come? Supply. Very good. Supply. See over here, question in the exam. See, so story. So much story. Megraj and Co. wishes to commence the business of supplying what? Ready-made garment within Punjab and neighboring states of Delhi and Haryana. Kindly state as to what is the taxable event under GST. People, what is the taxable event under GST? Supply. Supply. And when you are selling goods from Punjab, within Punjab, what will you charge? CGST and SGST. And when you are selling to neighboring states of Delhi and Haryana, then? See, please read the answer everyone. Just imagine, in the exam, if this question comes now, a student will be like, oh no, it can't be so easy. Correct everyone, read the answer. Taxable event under GST is supply of goods, services or both. Whenever you supply goods or you supply service or you supply both. Both means what everyone? Combination. I am giving you goods also, I am giving you? CGST and SGST and UTGST will be charged on interstate and IGST will be charged on interstate. Next. Chalo. People. Would you guys want to apply your brain in two ka one, two, three and think and then I will answer? Would you try to, would you like to try everyone? Don't write the answer, think of the answer. First thing, then I will read with you. One minute I will give you. Think, pick, your, pick up your pen and think. Page number 2.22. People, draw and try to get the answer. What will be the answer? Supply, not supply. Find out the answer. Think, think, think. It's very important. Done everyone, can I do it? Okay. Examine whether the activity of importation of service in the following independent cases would amount to supply under section number 7. Ms. Sriniti Kaushik received Vastu Consultancy for her residence located at Bandra, Mumbai. People, importation of service from rational of what? Sydney, Australia. Supply is outside India. Recipient is in. Where is the service given? India. So, is it importation of service from the amount? Consideration, yes, everyone. For a consideration, non business purpose, will it be a supply, everyone? Yes. Okay. Done. Everyone got it? Next one. Ms. Sriniti Kaushik received interior decoration services for a residence located at Bandra from her brother. Importation of 
सर्वेस ब्रदर हु इज इन सिडनी होली डिपेंडेंट रिलेटेड पर्सन फॉर बिजनेस और विदाउट कंसिडरेशन हो ही डिड नॉट पे एनी कंसिडरेशन बट फॉर बिजनेस इट इज नॉट बिजनेस एंड हेंस इट विल नॉट बी श्योर एवरी वन इफ इट वॉज फॉर बिजनेस इट वुड है supply next will your answer change in the above if sriniti had taken the interior decoration surveys with regards to her business premise and not residence yes then it would have been importation of surveys from related in the course of your business and without will it be supply are we clear do one thing now everyone i'll give you two marks two marks and two marks write your answer i told you the answer right i told you the answer now let's see what do you write right baba exam is not about telling a yes or no exam is about writing see i'll tell you listen everyone listen there are three things people everyone here there are three things which you have to remember if you want to score good number one is learn conceptually you have to learn everything very conceptually people are we trying in the class to learn everything conceptually like this it should happen secondly you have to remember you have to are i taught you everything conceptually but you don't remember anything what will you write in the exam are we going ahead and revising again and again do we have the chart book to remember can we remember section number 71 very easily now yes. yes or no so second point is to remember this too i am doing it i can make you learn conceptually i can make you remember also more remembering by revising and the last one over here is writing by practice writing practice are we clear everyone this writing practice which is there no is applying your law is what you have learned in the class how to apply in a situation if they give you a question and you don't know how to apply you will not get marks are we clear everyone now you learned how to apply now you have to write also no you learn to apply and then you have to write down your answer that will give you marks so please start writing everyone right it's okay to go wrong it's okay to write about see i told you the answer right i told you the answer but i'm telling you to write right let's see what do you write right everyone people watching at home please write baba it is very very important to write if you don't write you will not get good marks you have to write चलो आई विल पॉज द वीडियो वंस यू आर डन यू कैन कंटिन्यू राइट पीपल राइट पिक अप योर पेन एंड राइट द आंसर आई होप एवरी वन इज डन राइटिंग लेट डिस्कस एवरी वन ओवर हियर नंबर वन सप्लाई अंडर सेक्शन नंबर सेवन इंक्लूड्स इंपोर्टेशन ऑफ सर्विस फॉर ए इवन इफ इट इज नॉट इन द कोर्स ऑफ योर और फर्दर एंस ऑफ योर बिजनेस ऑल दो दर्स्ट दे हैव रिटर्न द लॉ कैन यू सी एवरी वन and they have concluded with the help of the law so you should give law first and then you have to give your conclusion saying see although the importation of service by sriniti is not in the course or furtherance of business as the interior decorative service have been availed in respect of resident it would still amount to what everyone although the importation of service for a consideration is not in the course or furtherance it would still amount to supply because importation of service without uh, not in the course or furtherance of business is still all supply is still a supply first you have to write the law little and then they give the conclusion can i go ahead everyone next see here everyone the next one wala me it is about schedule 1 do you guys agree with me schedule 1 paragraph number 4 so first they have written schedule 1 pro stipulates that importation of service from whom related person who is outside india without consideration is treated as supply if it is in the course of furtherance of your business people this is your schedule 1 can you guys, do you guys agree with me paragraph number 4 they have written here yes now they have written that sir when you have taken it from whom brother and brother is wholly dependent is your brother related person yes. so then they have told over here explanation to section number 15 you don't have to write so much actually in section number 15 ka explanation related person ka definition is given you can say simply person shall be deemed to be related person if they are members of the same family and you don't have to write so much also further as per section number you don't have to remember you can write family means spouse and children and pgbs don't write pgbs write the full form and come okay everyone if they are wholly or mainly dependent people 
did they first write the law that law is telling who is a related person and law is telling that if you import service from a related person without consideration also in the course of business it will be considered as supply now they will apply first they will write the law and then they will apply in the given case what is happening Ms. Sriniti Koshek has received interior decoration services from her brother. In the view of this, you leave it. You can write like this. You don't have to write. You can write Ms. Sriniti and her brother shall be considered as related person since brother is wholly dependent on her. Take everyone. Next. However, Ms. Sriniti has taken interior decorator service for her and not in the course of her business. Consequently, services provided by her brother would not be treated as supply under section number 7, read with schedule. What? Are we clear everyone? Tell me one thing. First, they wrote the law. Then they wrote their observation. Can you see over here? And then they wrote there. So, can you see LOC is written? First, the law. Then they told, what did we observe? And then they wrote the conclusion. This will give you marks. Can I go ahead everyone? Next. Okay, what if in the above case it was taken for our business? Will it be a supply, everyone? Yes. If the above Sriniti had taken the interior decorator service with her regards to her business, it will become it would be treated as supply under section number seven, read with schedule. One, two time one one has come, so I'm removing it. Can you guys see this one? Two time it has come, so I'm removing one. Next. As the same is in the course of furtherance of business. Can we go ahead, everyone? Tell me one thing. Out of six marks, how much will you give yourself? Hey, who is this six, six guy? Huh? Can we go ahead, everyone? Baba, in your dreams also six will not come if you don't practice. Can we go ahead, everyone? Yes. Tell me, how much do you think you will give? Three. three. You knew the answer, right? Baba, three you are telling you will give yourself. When I have told you the answer told and told right. It means even after cheating, students fail. First of all, you should not do cheating only. Correct? And secondly, even if you do cheating, you will fail. Your friend will tell, ha, ah, supply. Still, you will not be able to write. Why? Because writing is an art which you have to learn. Can I go ahead, everyone? Next. Chalo. People, question number three, which is there. Would you guys see over here? Question number three. Chalo. Miss... Pragati received legal advices for her personal problem. People, importation of non-business purpose for and paid how much pound? Is it for a consideration? Importation of service for a consideration. Non-business, will it be considered a supply? Section number? Very good. Next. Uh, okay. Explain whether the above activity would amount to supply? Yes, sir. Next, if in the above case, both of them are real sister, Baba, they are real, Miss Sriniti, Miss Pragati and Unnati. Unnati is the person who is outside India and giving the service. They are real sister. No consideration is paid. Importation of service without. One, tell me one thing. Even if they are real sister, is the sister dependent or independent? Yes. When she is giving legal services from outside India, it means she is independent. I see related person. Is it for your business? Is it? It is for your non-business purpose. Correct, everyone. Will it be a supply? No. So, sir, in the above case, both of them are real sister and no consideration. Then will it change your answer? Yes or no, everyone? Baba, it will still. My answer will not change. Num okay. One minute. First, will it be a supply? In the first one. Yes. Second one, is it a supply? No. So, your answer will change. It will not be a supply. Can I go ahead everyone? Next. Further, in the above case, both of them are real sister. And Pragati received the legal advice for her business. People, importation of service without consideration. Related person? No. For her business. What is the problem? Why? Real sister does not mean related person. Real. No. You have to see what? Dependent or independent. Now, when the sister is giving legal advice from outside India, dependent, independent. So, people, they are not, she is not your related. And hence, will it be a supply? So, sir, 
and she didn't pay any consideration what will be your answer everyone supply not supply see number one first one first one it will be a supply yes everyone because it was only what everyone importation for legal for consideration of 1000 it will qualify as supply section number 71 b second one everyone real sister real sister will it be a supply or not supply will not be a supply as it is in not in the course of business third one even if it is in the course of your business but still it will not be a supply why real sister does not mean your dependent sister when she is giving legal advice from outside india it seems she is independent and hence she is not your related importation of service for business matter then such importation without consideration would amount to supply only if it is supplied by whom related person importation from real sister is not importation from related person real sister means what okay real sister gst law has defined related person to include members of the same sister is considered as family if she is dependent in the question it seems miss unnati is quite independent and no way dependent on miss pragati and therefore miss pragati and miss unnati are not related person importation of service without consideration not from related person it will not amount to supply is my point 100 percent clear anyone any doubt with this question today's practice question this is you have to write and practice you have to write and practice this question you have to write your answer you have to compare your answer you have to write and compare next Chalo. people four ka second one four ka second one mr swami of chennai is working as a manager of he consulted jacobs and company london people london ka person giving services in india importation of took advice for buying a residential house business non-business and paid consultancy 200 importation of service for a non-business purpose will it be a supply people today's practice question okay you have to practice this market sir first one why you did not do because you guys are kid you can't do that now Chalo. people over here now see achievement is when you have learned something and you are applying and seeing that you are able to do question answer if you can't do question answer then what will you do in the exam correct or not everyone so at the end of the day, when you have learned it, you have to also see question answers. Am I able to do or not? Can we go ahead, everyone? Now, examine whether the following activity would amount to supply. Chalo. Vesco Limited, a registered person in Gujarat, have a head office located in? Ah, uh, own establishment outside? India. India. Receive management consultancy service free of cost from his head office. People, importation of service? From whom? Own establishment? Without consideration, is it for business? Yes. Will it be a supply? Yes. Over story, everyone. Very good. Next. See, two marks really they had asked this. November 23. Next. With reference to the provision of GST law, discuss when importation of service is to be considered a supply and when not to be considered a supply. People tell me. Importation of service, when will it be considered a supply? Importation of service, consideration. Business? non-business both will be considered as supply importation of service related person or own establishment without consideration for business will be considered as are we all clear will you do this as homework today read it at home everyone please read it at home once okay now tell me one thing if all the conditions are not satisfied then that will not be a supply next Chalo, let's read this. People, Damodar private. People, are you able to do question answers? You are feeling good that you understood? Yes or no, everyone? Chalo. Damodar private limited, registered in Delhi, transferred some goods to its branch, registered in West Bengal. Ha, ha, ha. People, what do you think? One is in Delhi, one is in West Bengal. This is registered. And this is also, what do you see? This thing from here, what happens? Stock transferred to West Bengal. Will it be a supply? Yes. Supply between this thing person. Let's read. 
read full question. Don't be over confident also. You have to read full question. So that the goods, you know what happens. I told you why you should, should not be over confident. People in the exam don't read the full question. They don't read the first two lines. They don't read the last two lines, which were very important. You are getting my point? You have to read the complete question. Only then you should start answering. Now, so that, so they have a branch in West Bengal, so that goods can be sold from that branch. The goods have been transferred without any, people, from here goods transferred without any consideration. The company believes that the transaction taken by it does not qualify and no, as no consideration is. Company is telling no consideration, so not a supply. Ascertain whether the transfer of goods by the Amudar to branch will be a supply. What do you think everyone? It is a supply. Section number 71C, Schedule 1. Paragraph number? No problem. Even if you don't remember paragraph number and all, you can say as per section number 71C, Schedule 1. If you don't remember, also write as per CGST Act. Are we clear, everyone? That's the last recourse. But if you remember, very good, no? Sir, you know what will happen, I'll tell you. By the time your exams will come near, students will say, Sir, I don't remember any section number, sir. That time, you have to write what? As per the CGST. If you don't remember, can you write? If you ask me also, will you be able to write? But you want one validation. Saying, sir, should say, I don't write. If I say, no, no, you have to write, sir, but I don't remember. Or you don't remember, then you don't write. It's okay. At intermediate level, writing section numbers and all, it's okay, even if you don't remember. Can I go ahead? Are we all clear? Next. People over here now. Done, 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 done. Next. People over here. Prithvi Associates, people, is engaged in supplying of what? Taxable goods. It inquires from its advisor as to whether any activity would be treated as supply even made without any consideration. Enumerate such activity. Do you remember four activities? What are the four activities? Louder. Permanent transfer of business asset where ITC was availed on such asset. Second, supply with related person or distinct person in the course of your business. Supply between principal and agent. Correct. Then the last one, everyone. Importation of service from related person or own establishment in the course of your people without question number point number eight you have to practice and go i'll tell you why i'm telling you to practice because this law which is there no this law will be required to be written by you whenever they ask you any question you have to write first two lines of law so if you practice you will be able to write better can i go ahead everyone sir i'm not able to write exactly Baba, not required even if you write 70 percent it's okay you are at intermediate level can i go ahead everyone next oh no <laughs> Just a minute, everyone. We'll pause the video for a minute. People over here now. Power is back. So let's continue. Everyone here now. This this one I had already discussed in the class. People, I want you guys to read B point and tell me whether Champak can be considered as an agent. People, Prithvi Enterprises appoints whom? Champak to procure certain goods from the... So this is... Prithvi and Prithvi appointed whom everyone? Champa. This is Prithvi. Okay. And Champak identifies various suppliers who can provide the goods as desired by Prithvi Enterprises. Supplier was identified. Okay, everyone. And supplier is who? Satya manufactures to send the goods and issue the invoice directly. People, this is Satya. He issued the invoice directly. My question is, Champak, is he an agent as per section number 71C? No. Yes or no? no? Why? Because when supplier issued the invoice in his name, then there would have been supply between prince, agent and principal. But here the invoice is going directly by the supplier in the name of the Prithvi. And hence, my question everyone, is he an agent as per 71C? No. Louder. 100% clear? Yes. You are telling just like that because you want to go home or done? Okay. Chalo, next. People, this is your practice question today. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन बी इज योर प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन विच एवर आई एम टेलिंग यू टू प्रैक्टिस यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस पीपल हु डोंट राइट एंड प्रैक्टिस यू गेट फोर्टी फोर्टी फाइव इन द एग्जाम इन द एग्जाम इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्कोर सिक्सटी सिक्सटी फाइव सेवेंटी मार्क्स एटलीस्ट यू हैव टू राइट एंड प्रैक्टिस एंड पीपल हु राइट एंड प्रैक्टिस विल नेवर फेल दे विल गेट गुड मार्क्स कैन आई गो एट एवरी वन people thought oh sir only 65 70 i will get baba you will get 80 90 also theek hai what i am telling is if you don't practice and go and you read everything and go also if you read everything and go also you will still get 40 45 only because just imagine you wrote an answer for 6 mark you are telling you will get 3 examiner will give you 2 only just imagine you wrote a paper of 100 marks and you still got how much 40 After writing hundred mark ka paper, but if you have practiced and gone and you have written that hundred mark ka paper, eighty ninety is very easy. Even if you don't write hundred mark, even if you write eighty marks in the exam and come, you will get sixty five easily. Can I go ahead, everyone? Next, this you will not get it now. This I have to teach you yet. Chalo, people, tell me this. Question number eleven. Examine whether the following activities would amount to supply under section number seven. Suleka and manufacturers have a factory in depot in. They have one factory and one depot. Both these establishment are registered in the respective. One is registered in Delhi. One is registered in Bombay. What is it? Listing person. Finished goods are sent from the factory to the Mumbai depot. From here, you are sending finished goods and storing in the depot. My question over here. From here, you are sending the goods to the depot. Supply between. Distinct person. Will it be considered as supply? Yes. yes. Next, Raman, an architect in Chennai. His brother is settled in London. London. Brother settled. Dependent, independent. 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 Related, not related. Not related. Raman has taken legal advice. Okay, importation of service, free of cost, without, with regards to family. Are. not for business it is personal and the last one is not from related what are the two problem one is it is not for business secondly it is not from a related person and hence will it be considered a supply no will your answer be different in the above case if raman had taken the advice in respect of business unit importation of service without consideration for business but what is the problem he is not a related problem is related person are we clear everyone next people will you guys not practice but read this answer at home yes. you have to read the answer you have to read the answer today okay everyone next saab <laughs> sel done ah ha ha congratulations everyone we are done with the question answer till section number 71 c beautiful everyone now you tell me one thing what did we write uh, What did we learn today in section number seven, everyone? Section number seven. Section number seven one. A. All forms for a consideration in the course of. B. A. A. Everyone, person other than doing an activity with the or member doing an activity with them will be considered as supply. B. Everyone, importation of service for a. Business, non-business, both will be considered as section number seven one C schedule first para paragraph number one. What is it? Permanent transfer of business asset where ITC was availed on such asset. Secondly, everyone between related person and third principal agent agent principal and the last one, everyone. from without consideration but for business are we all 100% clear till here yes. people listen carefully everyone listen carefully now what you will do is today see till here whatever questions i have told you to practice you will do it here whatever questions i have told you you have to practice people whatever questions i have told you you have to practice okay when you come down to mcq people people when you do come down to mcqs people over here 
दिस गुड्स एंड सर्विस का एमसीक्यूज यू हैव टू डू मार्केट मार्केट पेज नंबर 2.36 मार्केट एंड 71c का एमसीक्यूज यू हैव टू डू गुड्स एंड सर्विस रिलेटेड 71c रिलेटेड टिल 13th till 13th you have to do it today done everyone you have to do it today you have to ask me the doubt tomorrow will you do it everyone yes sir sure yes sir chalo people tomorrow tomorrow when you reach the class might be 5 minutes early also revise it till here and keep tomorrow we'll be starting with section number 71 a congratulation people we are done with section number 71 i'll see you guys tomorrow where we'll be going ahead and starting with section number 71 a Done, everyone. Yes. Bye, guys. People, bye. Bye, bye everyone. <laughs>